Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. On Tuesday evening, February 20th, Manhattan Concert Productions will present Broadway Classics in Concert. This star-studded event will feature songs from some of Broadway's most beloved, award-winning composers and writers who we caught up with here at Sardi's right before the legendary night. I can't be bothered now. Creating Crazy Few, uh, it was a joy. I, I was um, very lucky that when the director, Mike Ockrent, was looking for a choreographer, I happened to have two shows running. I had Liza at Radio City Music Hall, and I had um, Kander Nibs and The World Goes Round running off-Broadway. So I think uh, it was the combination of both. It was sort of the extravaganza of Liza's show, and then the comedy in And the World Goes Round that Mike Ockrent thought I would be the right gal to do crazy for you. And uh, so I was hired and, and we started and uh, uh, you know, it was just to have that catalog of all the Gershwin music and then to be able to do arrangements to match my choreography and uh, all of it was like a gift, it really was. And we played out of town in Washington, D.C. and then, then we came into New York and then we opened in 1992. As a matter of fact, the, when we did the big Crazy Few concert, uh, it was exactly 25 years since we had opened on Broadway, so it, it was so special, very special. One very memorable moment about Crazy Few is that it was going very well in the studio and everyone was loving it, and we did the final run-through, and uh, we had already sent uh, stage management and, and uh, the, 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 our set designer, Robin Wagner, was down there, and William, we already sent everybody ahead. And after that final run-through in the studio, we felt that the second act wasn't, wasn't quite working, and what could we do? So we got on the Amtrak, and from New York City to Washington, D.C., rewrote the second act of Crazy Few and threw out costumes, threw out, but there was a big number by Strauss in there, and, and replaced it with Stiff Upper Lip, and uh, it was that it was it was Mike and Mike Ockrent and Ken Ludwig and myself and Jim and Yanni, and we just talked about how we could change this to make it better, and uh, it it saved the show because by the time we got down there and we were we hadn't started tech yet, so we were able to tech it in. But I was re choreographing down there in Washington D.C. and William Ivy Long was you know making costumes and <laughs> for this new number, and uh, it was all very very exciting. But I I feel all. Also, it was very brave because I've seen some creative teams that won't take that chance or too afraid to take that chance. And uh, our leader, Mike Ockrid, took that chance and he said he was very brave to say we have to change this right now. And uh, when we did it, it's definitely saved the show. Polly has a, <laughs> a line at the end of Act One where she says we're, we've been working together and feeling alive. And working on Crazy Few makes you feel alive because you were, you were um, doing the ultimate dance and choreography and uh, singing these incredible songs and acting these wonderful characters. So everybody who works on it uh, feels alive. There's a great joy in the room. Um, so revisiting it has been wonderful. It's, it's, um, and uh, in revisiting it, um, making sure that it is now for uh, an audience of 2018. There's been some tweaks and some cuts, and it's all been very collaborative to go back at it, because uh, I think uh, theater pieces now um, uh, are, are different from what they were in 1992. So being able to um, uh, massage it a little bit for a more contemporary audience has been actually thrilling.